I mean, social media is both a gift and a curse. Um, it's a lot of access, but not enough knowledge of all the access that's being retained. You know, it's immediacy. You know, so it's, you know, I put this outfit on, I take a picture, I didn't get enough likes, I changed my outfit. It's, it's taking you away from having your own thoughts and ideas, um, talking in sound bites, you know, just things like uh, you don't really read in the paper and kind of understanding the story that's in front of you. Um, you're thinking like, oh, I'm going to build a business and I'm going to make a t-shirt and I'm going to be the next Tyler, the creator. Um, it's, it's impossible, really, because there's no sustainability in that. As, as fast as phones update and change, so do people's thoughts and ideas. Um, so I don't think you can ever really be consistent in your approach if your approach is purely social media. You know, even like somebody who was a blogger, remember bloggers four or five years ago were like the thing and now it's, no one cares about that. They want to read a quick feed on Instagram, it's, you know, or Twitter, it's 144 characters, whatever, they're updating it to make it more. I mean, working in music videos for as long as I did, you know, you would see the rapper with the car, that wasn't his car, we rented the car, that wasn't his money, we took it out of the bank and I printed, I made fake money. Um, the champagne was water or ginger ale in fake bottles that we made to look like Moet. You're looking at the same thing today, you know, it's like, it's very few of the SoundCloud rappers have this money, the cars, the jewelry, this is all borrowed. Um, even some of your Instagram stars, it's not everything what you see is real. Um, so you have to be very aware, again, of the, what you're taking in, how much of that is really real, and what is it that you really understand and have the knowledge for? Um, do you have it to rise above and not worry about what Joe Schmo has, or are you so wrapped up into like, oh, I gotta look just like this guy? Because um, if you look at it, a lot of people look exactly the like. No one's really standing out. There's not a lot of individuals left in our youth, um, and that's, you know, that's concerning to me. And not to discourage you from social media because in certain situations that is your only news feed in Europe when kids, kids are gathering to, for rallies or when people are getting the word out to safety in schools or there was a shooting or whatever, you know, there's a lot of turmoil in the world right now. In that instance, I think social media is, is helpful. I think when you're for the better of a situation, I think again, you now have knowledge. You've kind of studied what that social media platform is really there and intended for. There, I'm not so concerned about. I think, again, you've got positives and negatives. Um, it's finding really, again, digging in, finding out the positive, getting the knowledge, um, and then letting it work for you, not against you.